actually a lot of the technology that I like to use isn't necessarily digital. So, for example, like I've got my favorite notebook, and actually what I can do with this is I can pull the pages out and I can stick them back in. Boing Boing teamed up with Institute for the Future and Sun Microsystems to create the Digital Open, an online tech expo for teens 17 and under around the world. Now meet one of the winners. So our project is called msjhs.net at our school. It's our student portal. Basically, it's the one place online to find everything related to student life at our school. Our website is powered by the Drupal content management system. Any organization, like a club specifically, you know, we have 65 clubs on campus. And so any club can go in and make their own account and they can put their own information out there. Actually, a lot of the technology that I like to use isn't necessarily digital. So. For example, like I've got my favorite notebook, and actually what I can do with this is I can pull the pages out and I can stick them back in. When I have a homework assignment and I'm interested in the material and I want to learn more about it, then I go on Wikipedia, there are hyperlinks, and I can just find out everything about the stuff. Wikipedia ends up being the average of society's knowledge, and since so many people are on Wikipedia, errors do get noticed, and it really brings home the fact that knowledge is really just what we agree upon. I guess the way I've been looking at the internet is as a way of building communities with people. There's a lot of power in building communities that are built around solving world problems. And so I think in the future, you know, we can use technology to tap into some of the knowledge and intelligence that we have around the world that, that doesn't get to speak out too much, but through technology we can access that intelligence. Yeah, I think the possibility of people who are really passionate and really good at doing things. The possibility that they'll be able to get together and work together really means that we'll be able to solve a lot of problems in the world. If you have an idea for something, you know, start a project, start, start, start exploring, um, do something crazy and have fun. you learn a lot. I guess if there are any high school students out there, I'd just like to tell them, yeah, high school is a great place to get started on these sort of things. And you can do really great things. Just make sure that you, you keep trying and you find something you really love to do.